So last week when we went antiquing in Prescott, I forgot to show you guys what I actually picked up and I didn't pick up a lot. Um, I actually got both of these things for, I think $6 or it might've been seven um, together. But okay, I did show you guys all the fun postcards and I just thought <laughs> this was just too funny. I don't even know what it means. But it's just too funny. Just the pit, the imagery. I thought the message was like two lovers or whatever. It was so cute. And then it's from 1910 and I just thought it was really cool. So I also thought it'd be fun while when we're antiquing to look for unique postcards like this. But I think I am going to frame that. And then this is the one piece of milk glass that I found. So obviously the paint, there was more like a red paint around the chicken there. And I believe on the border of the chicken. Um, but this is genuine milk glass. I don't even, I don't know the year but it's so beautiful. I loved the design and I thought it would look super cute in my um, three-tiered tray here when it's not a holiday and I have like my basic pieces, kitchen pieces. Don't you think that's so cute in there? Obviously not with what I've got going on, but um, you can see also when I hold it up to the light, you can see through it, which is a clear indication that it's real milk glass, but you can kind of see that opalescence to it too. It's so pretty. So I was really happy to find that. Actually, I found this at the very first, both of these pieces I purchased at the very first antique shop we went to, but I did end up seeing this little guy, another, another one of this, um, but it actually had more of the color, coloring on the top here than mine, um, but I actually don't mind. I feel like it makes it look older. <laughs> hey guys, so it's Saturday morning. And Chris and I are just trying to do some miscellaneous tasks that, well, I at least have been procrastinating on some of mine, but um, he's doing yard work right now, and then we're going to do taxes later. And anyways, so since I'm kind of just doing things around the house for a little bit, my eyes were super puffy, and so I went ahead and put one of my V2 code patches on. Um, I talked about them many a time here on my channel, just they're my favorite eye, under eye patches. They really do help to depuff my under eyes, helps with little wrinkles and discoloration under there. And they stay on, like I can shake my head, like can be doing tasks, you know, on the kitchen and everything and they're not gonna fall into anything. So yeah, that's why I like to wear them. I usually wear them once a week, um, usually on the days where I, maybe I didn't get as much sleep as I wanted to, or maybe I have like photos that I may be taking the next day. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna get to cleaning the kitchen and doing a few other things for my channel. Um, have some YouTube tasks to get done, so I'd like to get. She's so shiny. Chris went and got her a bath for me, and he scrubbed her real good. Look at her tire shining. Now she now she feels like she can be next to this new one. It's the big old bad boy next to her. She looks so much smaller when it's next to the new one. At least I can tell the difference. Let me know if you can. Today for brunch, I made bacon, over easy eggs, and some tots. And I have orange pineapple juice. Someone had a growing spurt this weekend. She was sleeping a lot. Or growth spurt, I guess I should say. I said growing spurt. Mommy's tired. Yeah, mommy's tired. <laughs> but you're so pretty, baby. She's getting big. You're getting big. Like toys everywhere because we were playing. I was worried about her for a second there because she was just so tired for a whole day. But she's back to her old self. I didn't give her a bath today because I thought she might have an ear infection because she was doing something weird like itching her ear and stuff. But I think she's okay now. So Chris went to go and get us some tacos for Taco Tuesday. But I had some packages come in and I thought I would share them with you guys real quick. Um, so the first are these BK Beauty brushes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am really into brushes all of a sudden again for application for foundation and concealer i was all about the beauty blender for years and years and years and don't get me wrong i still love my beauty blender 
but I feel like the application with the brush, like a foundation brush, looks so much more amazing. Sorry, the dogs are going in and out of the house playing. I'm barking, so sorry if you hear that in the background. But anyways, I just wanted to share some new brushes that I'm going to be trying out from BK Beauty. Um, they did send me these, and here's what the box looks like. And I just thought I would share with you how beautiful they wrapped everything. Wow, you guys, these brushes, I cannot wait to try these out. They have such a nice weight to them, which might seem like such a silly thing, but it really isn't. Um, if you've done makeup a lot, then you know it. Just like the weight of a brush is so important, and I really like the weight of these brushes and they're super soft. I still have to wash all of these, of course, but then I'm gonna start using them and I'll let you know what I think. But these are the sets that they sent to me and I will um, list them right here because I'm not sure their names weren't on the packaging that they were wrapped in. So we've got, looks like a face brush, like a highlight and some detail brushes. And then this looks like a face set. These are amazing. I, I'm really excited about the face set the most. And then these look like some buffers. We've got a larger buffer and a smaller. And then this looks like an eye set. I love this little smudge brush. I don't have something like that currently, so. And of course the sponge. So I'll be testing all these out soon, but I can't wait to try them. Then I have these jeans and I was influenced by Sam Sherman on Instagram. No, on YouTube. Um, she posted about the boyfriend jeans and Holly apparently likes them. And these were one that she really liked from Target, um, from Wild Fable. So I'm going to be trying these out. I forget how much they were. It says 22, but I'm pretty sure that it was on sale. Um, they always have sales on clothes like on. And then, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I already tried it out. It's the Fresh Sugar Mango Hydrating Lip Balm. I love their hydrating lip balms. Um, I think I actually have them in my recent favorites, the lemon one I use all the time. And I also have a peach one. But this one is going to be my new favorite. I love, love, love mango anything. And this smells like fresh mangoes. It really does. So excuse that I already used it a little bit, but really super hydrating just like the other hydrating lip balms that i have from them but i love the scent smell and taste of this mango one definitely tops the list for me so thank you so much to octoly and fresh for um letting me review this one dossier sent me another perfume that i cannot wait to wear and try out because it's supposed to be like the chanel chance the the pink bottle why can't i think of the name I've wanted it forever. Oh, the Utandre? Utandre? I think that's how you say that. Or Utandra. So I will be testing this out and let you guys know. But from I can already tell from the box you can smell the perfume. <laughs> She's yelling at Chris because he's putting the tables together and she wants him to pet her. Anyways. She wants the toys? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then I also got these Built Boost Strawberry Guava flavor in the mail to try out. And I can't wait because I really, really like these. Um, but I usually like the more fruity of the flavors. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this one. Okay, I take it back. I still think the lemon is my favorite because um, I just put this one on. But the mango comes in a close second. And the peach is good, but for some reason I just love the lemon one so much better. Because it tastes it like smells and tastes like sugared lemons. And not like I lick it off my lips all the time, but you know what I mean. So that one obviously has been used the most, but I do really like the new mango one. The wall of yellow flowers is back by my house. They're so pretty. So I totally already started eating this. That's why there's a lettuce leaf missing right there. But I like to make these little bowls. 
um, of tuna with a couple crackers, but mostly vegetables to dip my tuna fish in. And I did use mayonnaise, real mayonnaise. Um, and it's white albacore tuna. Um, cause that's the only tuna I will eat from the can. <laughs> um, but yeah, sometimes I don't feel like making a sandwich and if I'm trying to cut carbs a little bit, this is what I like to do. Oh my oh, God. No. Oh, he does. Does. he has to tell me this now. Yeah. And she has. So so cute. So she she has is such so a lover. Oh my you goodness. Do you want to meet your new family? Do you want to meet your brother and sister? Okay, let's take the leash off, okay? And we're going to meet the new brother and sister, okay? No. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Is that your baby? <laughs> oh my god. Like it looks like it could be his baby. Alright, sure. Oh, you're so yeah, cute. You're so cute. Now she's down to one time, so it's perfect. Okay. She won't play with you, Zoe? You're always saying my best friend. She's like, but be my friend. I know she wants to. puppy in the office. Her name is Zoe and she's a sheep -a doodle <laughs> She's so cute. We've been playing with some toys. Right Zoe? Look at girl. Oh my goodness, look at this belly. Oh, gotta get the phone. You getting tired? <laughs> <laughs> My new shadow at work. She's eating a bone, a marrow bone. So I took the Tahitian chicken meal from HelloFresh and made it my own because I didn't really like the couscous that was with it and a couple other things. So anyways, that's what we're having for dinner. Some chicken with Tahitian spices and roasted carrots and some rice. So I'm going to start putting the Easter decor away soon here. Um, so I'm thinking about setting up this new frame over here for springtime on our table there, but this is a 15 inch, so it's huge. Bigger than the other photo frames I have gotten from Dragon Touch previously. They sent me this for review purposes, but I have their frames all around the house because I love having digital frames that you constantly see different pictures and memories from you know family and friends, and I just love it. Chris, Chris and I both actually love it. So this is what my model is. But I will leave a link down below for you guys. Now, it comes really nicely packaged. Um, there's like a protectant over the top of this. It shows you the instructions on how to get it started. It's super easy. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up right here. And then I will show you guys what it looks like. I just started unboxing everything. But underneath the frame itself, there is a remote to control it. There's even a mount, which I think we will actually mount this somewhere later. Um, I think that's such a cool option to be able to mount that onto the wall. And then here is the power adapter. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and set it up and show you guys what it looks like. All right. I got it set up. Looks really good. I have some of our, I just put some of our Grand Canyon pictures on there from last year. Oops. I have it where it's expanding the picture. So sometimes I have to move it a little like that. But it's easy to do. Damn. Looks really good. Now, 
If you don't have a high resolution photo, it might not look good on the frame because it is such a wide screen. So keep that in mind. Make sure your pictures are high resolution. Sorry that there's a little bit of a glare because of the sunlight, but definitely think it looks great here. Hey guys, you Lucy behind me. Um, I just wanted to come on here really quick to explain to you why the vlog wasn't up on Sunday morning like I usually have it. And I really do pride myself on trying to get the vlog up every single Sunday morning for you guys because I know that many of you love to have it a, a part of your Sunday routine. And I just always feel, and this seems dramatic, but I, I literally feel like I failed you when the vlog isn't up at 5 a.m. on Sundays. So for that, I'm sorry. And hopefully you'll still get enjoyment out of this vlog a little bit later this week. And I might actually post two vlogs this week because I have some extra content that I could just leave for next week, which I might. It'll just be a, a longer vlog, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, long story short, my computer is spazzing out. I'm going to show you my laptop right now. See how it's doing that flashing? Um, so technically it's still workable cause, um, I have it projected and connected, um, to the TV screen. I'm actually in Chris's den because that's where it's been able to connect and work. We tried it with two different other monitors, like computer monitors, and it wouldn't work. It wouldn't connect. So I do obviously have to get my laptop fixed. It's honestly not that old. I got it in early, no, mid 2018. So it's been about two and a half years and it was a birthday gift, so I'm just kind of irritated to say the least, but I do think it's something that's going to be fixable since it's the screen, it seems like that's having an issue. Um, I actually went and looked at desktops on Sunday with Chris. We went to Best Buy and, App and the Apple Store, um, and the guy at Apple actually convinced me to wait a little bit, and I'm totally going to give him my sale once I do purchase my desktop because he was amazing. He gave me so much information. He was so knowledgeable. His name's Eric um, at the Apple store at Santan Mall, if you're in the market for a computer or a phone. But he told me that the new M1 chips that came out in the Apple Mini, which is like one of those box, just looks like a box, um, computer systems. You do have to obviously attach a monitor, et cetera, to that for that to work. But um, that new M1 chip is supposed to now be put into the new desktops, um, with the full monitor and everything. And supposedly that might come out this Tuesday when they do their like new announcements, Apple. So I'm going to hold off another week because either I'm going to get the newest version or I'm going to see if the prices drop for the i7 processors, the the most recent desktops that Apple put out. And if that's the case and it's less money, then I'll save money on it. So I don't know which way I'm going to go yet, but for now, I'm editing through the TV screen and hopefully I probably will end up having to do that for next week's vlog too. Um, and then hopefully this weekend, I'll be able to make a decision on purchasing the desktop. So that's going to be really awesome. Um, it was not an investment that I was ready to purchase yet because um, we had saved up a bunch of money to put as a down payment onto Chris's car. Um and even though we were prepared for that, that was kind of not the timing we wanted to purchase his vehicle. We were looking to do it more September so we could save even more. Not a big deal. We'll just continue to save and put money towards it. But I don't really want to deplete my savings for this laptop on top of it. It's like, ugh. But you know what? It is what it is. That's life, right? There's always going to be something that needs to be taken care of, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'm again, sorry that the vlog was late and I'll see you again next Sunday.